starting off this new season with a bunny craft. It's a very cute, easy craft, and I loved it so much when I saw it, so we are going to do this bunny craft. So let's get started. Okay, so for this activity, you are going to be needing some paper. Okay, so um, I'm just using blank white paper. Uh, I'm going to be using three sheets of paper. So yeah. Okay, um, the next thing you are going to be needing is scissors. Yes, you're going to be needing a pair of scissors. Next, you are going to be needing a pencil and an eraser. And a key element to this project is paint. I'm going to be using three colors of paint. You definitely need more than one piece of, um, you definitely need more than one paint in order for this project to be colorful. Uh, next we're going to be needing a paint palette or a piece of paper will do just fine. You're also going to need a glass of water and some um, tape. I'm just going to be using masking tape. You can use cello tape um, and some glue. And next you're going to be needing a dotting brush, but I know a lot of people do not have dotting brushes. So there are many ways you can um, substitute a dotting brush, so that's not too hard and we shouldn't worry about that. So you can use a nail stamper maybe, yeah, like it has a circle, so a nail stamper. Um, maybe like um, an art sponge, maybe, yeah, here's an art sponge. You just have to use anything that's in a circular shape that you can use to trace on. So it's basically all you need, something oh, like a bottle cap, yeah. But the most common way of doing it is taking a clothespin and some tissues. And what you want to do is you want to take a cotton ball or some tissues and hook it onto the clothespin and then just stamp it. It's like an easy way. You can use tissues, crumple it up into a ball, or you can use a cotton ball, which is also easy. So yeah, so now let us get on with this project. Okay. Mm. So the first thing we're going to be doing is we are going to be taking a piece of paper. And what we have to do with this piece of paper is we have to like get the outline of a bunny onto this. Not like a realistic bunny but like a, you know, drawed bunny. So we have to get an outline of a bunny onto this paper. So yeah, I'm just going to um, look onto the internet and try to find a picture of a bunny or like maybe a template and I'm just going to trace that onto this paper. Okay, so I have now, um, traced out the bunny and as you can see there are no features I don't know why I drew a tail on the bunny you don't really need the tail but yeah this is the outline of the bunny I thought it was a pretty cute bunny but yeah I just need the silhouette of a bunny for this project there are no features so do not add any features to this bunny okay so yeah that circle is not needed you do not need that tail if you want you can keep it but there's going to be no use for it so yeah you don't need it okay so I think we should get on with the project and what I'm going to do is I'm going to be cutting out this bunny with my pair of scissors all right so I have now cut out this beautiful bunny and I'm going to be using the other side of the bunny just because on the other side there's the pencil staggers and the tail. So yeah, I'm just going to be using this side of the bunny. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to take another piece of paper and what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it into a card because this bunny project is actually kind of more like a bunny card. So yeah, I'm going to be just folding this in half. Yeah. Okay, so now that I folded this in half, I am going to be taking my bunny and I'm going to be placing it in the middle. 
Now, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking some masking tape and I'm just going to take the pieces of tape. Ugh, if I can get it out. This is what I don't like about tape. You can't really, it's really hard to get out. Okay, so I've got this out now. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a pair of scissors and just cut off a little piece. You really don't need scissors for masking tape, but I don't know why I did that. <laughs> why I'm doing this and taking this up, but yeah, whatever. Um, just going to roll it up so that there's sticky side on both sides, and I'm going to put it on the bunny. I'm just going to put two pieces of tape on the back of the bunny. So, yeah. All right. Just need to get another piece. roll up okay all right so I'm just gonna stick this bunny on here and what I'm going to be doing now is the fun part of this project what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking my paint palette and squirting some paints onto the palette I'm gonna be using three colors of paint so I'm gonna tell you now what you're going to be doing you're going to be taking your dotting tool um, your dotting stamper brush or whatever and I'm going to be taking that and just going to be stamping it onto the paper to make a bunch of dots everywhere you can even put it on top of the bunny just put it everywhere make sure it gets all over the bunny as well just put it everywhere only then it will look pretty so just put it everywhere so yeah just gotta get the yellow open so yeah well, take your dotting tool and just put it everywhere as it will be shown in the next clip of how I put it all over the paper. So yeah. Okay, so yeah, I'm just gonna be using three colors of paint. Um, primary yellow, primary magenta, and cardamom red. Anyway, so now I'm going to be taking my dotting tool and dotting all over this paper. It's going to be really fun, and you also have to have fun with this, because otherwise it's not happy art, it's boring art. So have fun with this little piece of the project. Now remember, you can use any dotting tool you like. Now let's get started. Okay, so as you can see, I have a finished dotting everywhere. So this is the final product. It looks kind of messy at first, but after we finish this project, it's going to look beautiful. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to be taking the bunny off of the paper. So as you can see, what's going to happen is the silhouette of the bunny will be traced onto the paper because paint did not get there. So yeah. Okay, so here it is. The silhouette of the bunny has been stamped onto this card beautifully. And so now we are going to be using this bunny, um, the bunny that has a bunch of spots on it. We're going to be using it, so do not worry about this bunny. Do not throw it out because we are going to use it in just a moment. So we're going to put this aside to dry. Okay, and we're going to take our next piece of paper and I'm going to fold it into a card. So this bunny project gives you two cards actually, which is a really great up. So we get two cards made out of this. So yeah, it's really cool. Okay, so I'm going to fold this into a card and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to be taking our bunny and I'm going to be gluing it on to the paper. Now since I don't want to flip the bunny over and mess up all the paint, I'm just going to put um, some glue onto this piece of paper. So here we go, and now I'm just going to press the bunny on it slowly, so just being careful that I don't, um, you know, get much paint on my fingers because I don't want that to happen. Right? Okay. So yeah. 
I'm just going to put a little extra glue where there's not enough glue. So there we have it. All the glue is in place and now what we're going to do is we're going to let both of these masterpieces dry. So yeah, um, it looks really pretty. So yeah, it looks really cute. Both of the cards look really, really cute. And so yeah, we are just going to put them to the side, let them dry, and then enjoy our beautiful masterpieces after they have finally dried. Okay, so our masterpieces have finally dried up and it looks so cute and so pretty and it looks really um, unique and I don't think anybody else will have cards like this. And while I was drying, I did a little craft on my own and I took this game board box, um, old one, and I kind of decorated it with the stamps and it looked so cool at the end. It looked like so many colors had just been like dotted onto it. It looked so nice. Um, this is probably my favorite side, turned out well. And so yeah, that was the box, and it was so cool, I really liked it. So there's a lot of things you can do with this dotting pattern. Um, you can do a lot of things with it, definitely, and you can customize a lot of things. So this was a success.